compulsion. Your education is a failure, they chant. Rather than preparing for midterm exams, these students from various universities in Baghdad skip class to join anti-government protests. They demand a better future, a future they say the current system is incapable of providing. If this doesn't succeed, we won't have another opportunity. This is the last chance for us. We haven't achieved anything in the protest square yet, so we can't return to our studies as usual. Youth unemployment in Iraq is high and one of the protesters' main grievances. Allah is a first-year engineering student, but without connections, she stands little chance of finding a job. Missing class is a small price to pay. It doesn't worry me to lose one year because there are 600 people who lost their lives entirely, not just one year. What is one year compared to the goals of our revolution, which is to bring change? What they want is to upend the political establishment that rose to power after the overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime. They reject Prime Minister-designate Mohammed Tawfiq Alawi. The former communications minister and member of parliament is seen as representing the status quo. As protests continue, midterm exams are looming. To catch up on months of lost education, some receive tutoring at private institutes like this one. Ofman Kusey Karim is a senior in a nearby public high school. Classes there were suspended for several weeks when protests began in October. But even after schools reopened, his peers pressured him to stay away. Our brothers in the protest squares, they were asking for support. They said they need us. Some of my friends pressured me, don't go to school, it's not good. It's better to go protest. Despite his private schooling, Othman worries about not achieving the marks he needs to get into university. The biggest losers are of course us. We will get hurt by this. We went with the protesters and supported them, but it will all come back to us. Othman's teacher and the director of this institute doubts that many students will fail. Not because they master the subjects, but because the education ministry has told instructors to help them pass. The education ministry told us to teach only the important things and skip whatever we feel isn't necessary for the exams. So I expect that this year we will see higher success rates. Public schools reopened, but attendance has been so low, many classes have been cancelled. So private institutes like these are flourishing. Many public school teachers earn double salaries by giving private lessons. Classes here cost over $600 per subject, too expensive for many lower income families. And so the inequality gap threatens to further widen. Students who can't afford private tutoring have little choice but to keep protesting and hope for a better education for all. The government and Shia cleric Mokhtar al-Sadr have ordered students to return to class, threatening penalties for those who don't comply. But these students are determined to stay on strike. The only way to pressure the government to listen to their demands, even if it means putting their own future on hold. Simona Faltin, Al Jazeera, Baghdad.